how you grow your edges. You got to give her a break. You got to give her some time. You got to leave her alone. Let me take my hair down and show you guys what I'm working with. I put my hair in African, um, like with African threading method. So I literally like threaded my hair all around. So they're in these little threads in boxes, right? And this makes it so much easier for me to take care of my hair, okay? That brings us to the hair product stuff. So how I've been taking care of my hair is I use my own products. Now our leave-in conditioner, this is our aloe leave-in conditioner. Hopefully it's not too bright. This is our aloe leave-in conditioner, right? And what I do is I shake up the bottle and then I spritz my scalp. So this is what you would do is right before you put on your wig, you'd need to do a hair care routine here, just like so. And it's like a nice spritz, look. You see that? It's a very nice little even spritz. Um, and once everywhere is coated, that's all you really need. Now, this is a 10 ounce bottle. Um, you can find this on our website, regiment31.com. This is moisture. I'm telling you, if you've tried everything on the market and nothing's worked for you, this will work for you. It doesn't matter what your porosity is. I've heard so many people say, I have low porosity, high porosity, porosity, nothing. This product will work regardless of what your porosity is. And I think the reason it works is because of the pH, right, of the product. Hair is naturally acidic and like attracts like. So if you use something that is acidic, right, it doesn't matter if it's high porosity or low porosity, it will do the trick. Now, this is formulated a little bit differently too because it's a very nice balance between moisture and protein. As much as we use the aloe vera juice or aloe vera, we also use um, apple cider vinegar in here as well. And the apple cider vinegar is for cleaning your hair. It keeps your scalp clean long-term. You guys can see my little grays in the middle right there. But uh, it keeps your hair clean. If you suffer from dandruff, itching, scalp issues, all that stuff, it gets rid of that for you really, really nicely. Anyways, but that's what I do. I spray that on. And then we actually launched an elixir. And this is our Extreme Growth Elixir. And you would use this just like a treatment, a scalp treatment, or you could use it as like a hair oil. And what you do is literally just shake it up and you use drops at a time, right? So this is what you would do. Sorry, guys. I think people keep contacting me. You see, you do drop and you massage it in. So if your edges is what's struggling, you do a drop, literally do a drop and then massage it in. Okay. And then on this side, I'll do a drop. There we go. And massage it in. And the wonderful part of this elixir is the fact that, like, on average, I usually my hair usually grows half an inch a month. But using my elixir, my hair grows an inch every two weeks. That's two inches every month, guys. So I would say that's more than doubled my hair growth. Um, it does have MSM in it, so it's very, 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 very nice. We use the base of this to formulate the elixir as well. And so everything, the combination of everything, the moisture, oh my God, it is incredible. Okay, so once you've treated your area with your scalp treatment, you always wanna start with the leave-in conditioner. And this leave-in conditioner also comes in a two ounce sample size. You shake it up really, really well before you spray your hair, but it looks like this. It's beautiful. Okay, so the reason that you would use this, uh, normally people get this because they're like, I don't want to commit to paying $20 or 20 something dollars for a bottle. I want to just try it out to see. And this is free on our website. You can get this one for free. All you got to do is pay the shipping and then you get to test it out. Okay, so currently we ship only within the U.S., we're working to see if we can find vendors all across the globe. So um, we're looking for distributors, right? So, but currently we ship within the U.S. If you're trying to grow your hair, if you're trying to take care of your hair, if you want your hair to be better, moisturize long-term. If you have 4C hair and you've tried everything on the planet and nothing's worked, I'm telling you, give us a shot. Get one of this little ones right here. 
and test it out. And once you test it out, I promise you, you'll be back for more. So now, if you have extremely damaged edges where you've tried everything and the hair is literally just receding on you, this is where you would use a derma stamp, right? So a derma stamp is essentially a microneedling tool. And everybody knows micro, at this point, if you don't know, microneedling is um, when you cause little injuries to the skin and allow for the skin to send a message or send a signal underneath the surface, it'll produce more collagen to try to heal that area. But in the process of this, you can sprout hair, right? So it increases growth factors to the area so you can actually increase growth, growth, growth. So I like this tool because um, the Derma Roller, if you are if you have straighter hair textures or if you have finer hair textures, you definitely can use the, the roller. But the problem with the roller is it gets caught up in there, right? And then you end up doing more harm than good because you're actually pulling out your hair. When you're using a derma stamp tool, if I could get it open, that would be wonderful. When you're using a derma stamp tool, huh, interesting. Anyways, it looks like this. And this is an adjustable one. So the needle comes out all the way to three millimeters. Y'all see that? Those are needle points and they're very tiny needles. Very tiny needles. But um, you never want to go to the extreme. This is very extreme. You never do three millimeters. And once you order this from our website, we always send instructions with it so you know exactly what to do. But usually, if I'm trying to treat, like, I like fill, I want to fill in this baby hairs. I don't really like, I don't really do baby hairs. I really want to fill it in. Um, and so I usually put it at 1.0, okay? But I do anywhere from 0 0.50 to 0, 1.0. And the reason you, and look, so you guys see that? Hold on. Oh, no, come on. There we go. 0.5 to 0.1 right so you could do 0.5 you could do 0.75 and you could do 1.0 i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest going any anywhere above that just because we're just wanting to absorb product right so after you've done your spray and then you've done your treatment right then you would go ahead and you would use some rubbing alcohol into a little bowl yep and then you would let this sit in there for about 30 seconds, okay? All of this instruction can be found on Regiment 31 um, on our Instagram page. So if you just do instagram.com backslash regiment.31, you can find these instructions. I have it fully, fully loaded. <laughs> I have it there. And it also, when you order on our website, it also comes with instructions as well. So don't worry. You have the details. You can definitely understand what I'm saying, okay? So if you guys need, have more questions, I love answering questions. So just go ahead and comment them. Um, comment it and I will answer. Okay, so you always want to sterilize before you get anything started. Sorry, guys, I always record with my phone, but it feels like nobody contacts me on a regular day basis, okay? Nobody calls me. Nobody, nobody says talks to me. But the minute I start recording, then everybody comes out of the woodworks and it's like, hey, 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 hey. I'm like, hey, I'm trying to record right now. Can we talk later, please? But um, I, it's my fat, it's my fat, it's my fault. What, what was that? What, what was that? I don't know what that was. Anyways, but um, it's my fault because I should have just put the do not disturb on the phone. I'm talking way too fast. So now I'm slurring my words. I'm just talking rubbish. So, and it's ready to use. You take it out. You literally like whip off all the excess, excess, all the excess, whip off all the excess alcohol on there. And then you want to go up and down motion. Just press down and up and press down and up and press down and up. You only need to go through the area that you're trying to treat twice. You don't need to do any more. You don't need to be sitting there stepping, stepping, stepping. Once the injury is caused, it's caused. You don't need to do the most, okay? So don't be extra like some of us. Just do one, two, three. One, two, three. You're done with that side, move it on. If you have your whole front, you can just go one, two, like you could just literally stamp all the way and then stamp back and then you're done. You don't need to sit there and just be jabbing, 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 jabbing. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't really hurt. It feels like pricking. Like it feels like you're getting poked, but they're so tiny. It almost feels like, a, like if you took your fingernail and you just dug it like, that sensation, that initial initial sensation, but then after that, it's all done. It's, so it's not a big deal. All you have to do is use that two times a week and you're good. Two times a week at least, 
and you're good. You definitely need to be using it with a, um, I gotta close this. You definitely need to be using it with a, uh, what is it? You gotta use like a serum or drops, something that has like, that, that encourages growth, uh, growth factors to the scalp area, something that uh, has nutrition, you don't want to necessarily use oils because what, what would happen is the body will absorb the oils, right? And oils are a little bit dense to break down. So you want to use water-based moisturizers or serums or things that would just feed the follicle. So this is my suggestion to you guys because this actually feeds the follicle. It detoxes the follicle. Um, it encourages growth and it speeds up growth. It's amazing, Okay. This is really, really, really good for you. So that's what I suggest. If you do that twice a week, it doesn't matter how damaged your edges are. Give it about, I would say, anywhere from 60 to 90 days to begin to see results if your hair is super duper duper damaged, okay? Now, if your hair is like mine and you just want to see a little bit of progress, expect to see progress probably between the 30 and the 60 day mark. You can see progress with just our products alone, like even just the leave-in conditioner. We've had so many people say, oh my God, my edges are finally growing in. Anyways, once you've done that treatment, then you want to follow in and do a scalp massage. Yep, I know what this looks like because everybody wants to point out to me as if I don't know what it looks like. I know exactly what this looks like and you hear the sound, it's vibrations. So you definitely want to go in and get some scalp vibrations to your scalp for sure this helps with the proper massage research shows that if you do 10 minutes of this a day your hair will sprout 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 it helps with hair growth it helps with uh calming you down so it de-stresses you and i think that has a lot to do with um the hair growth as well because people don't understand that stress actually causes you to lose hair so if you can get your stress levels down you would definitely grow a good head of hair okay that's what I mean. All the items that I show you will be on the website. Well, not the rubbing alcohol. You can't find that on the website. But the scalp massager definitely is on the website. Um, the derma stamp tool comes in a box. It looks like this. It's on the website as well, regimen31.com. You can actually find the link in the description box below. And then this is our two ounce travel size sample bottle. These are free on the website. You simply just have to pay for the shipping, okay? And then we have this one right here. Oh my goodness, my light is so bright. We have our regular bottle. This is a 10 ounce bottle online. Okay, now I'm gonna put my hair away so you guys get to see what I'm doing. I don't have my, I don't have a wig cap because I usually don't wear wigs like that. So I don't have a wig cap, but Initially, you I mean, you would want to have a wig cap. Maybe not a wig cap, but I would pref I prefer um, like pantyhose, okay? So you would go ahead and put your hair away. I really like the African uh, threading method because it does grow hair, okay? It helps to sprout your hair. Plus, it's a really, really nice protective hairstyle that I can rock um, without really doing too much, okay? So now... What I want to do is I am going to go ahead and pop on my wig. This is so I you pretty much just popped the wig on my on head. Um, I had to record wig, over right? this so. because I talk late too much. And I was just pretty much just talking myself through the process or whatever and stuff like that. And just kind of talking about the health of your scalp. You never want to put anything on your scalp when you're trying to regrow your hair. Especially if your edges have been damaged for a very long time. So you're trying to grow out your edges, but you keep putting on wigs on them, but wigs have a tendency to cut off your circulation. So when you put your wig, uh, your wig cap on, when you take it off, you see that indentation that your, your wig cap leaves behind. That's an indication that it's cutting off blood flow to those areas. So what you want to do is you want to pause for at least three to six months, depending on how damaged your edges actually are you do need to give yourself that amount of time to actually regenerate follicles, especially if you're doing like the derma stamping um, method or micro needling method, you need to give yourself at least four months to regenerate those follicles. And so you cannot be putting pressure on those areas because it will choke out 
or stop blood flow from getting to those areas. And then you're just defeating the purposes of why you started the whole process in the first place. So if you're going to do it, be fair to yourself and actually go through the process nicely. Now, as you can see, I've put the, the wig on already. The headband is literally behind my hairline just a little bit. And you want to make sure that whatever hair, uh, if you get one of those like uh, headband wigs, that it's not cloth. It's actually silk, right? Because you don't want to be absorbing the moisture from your hair the entire time you have your wig on. And I will show you guys towards the end of this video what you're supposed to do once you get home. Um... I only wear wigs if I'm going out or something. Actually, I don't wear wigs at all. But like if I needed to, you'd wear the wig to go out. And then once you get home, you got to take the wig off. You just want to give your scalp as much breathing room as possible. And you cannot be wearing your bonnets and, and, and your all this protective stuff that we do at home too. You want to let your hair breathe because oxygen is equally as important. Think of your hair as a plant. You feed your hair nutrients or you feed a plant nutrients and water and it has oxygen and it just thrives. So your head definitely needs no, uh, nutrition, it needs oxygen, and it needs um, uh, blood supply, okay? So this is what we're trying to do with this method that I'm showing you guys. So you guys see how cute this is? I love it so much. She's super cute. Mm. She cute, cute, cute. Yeah, she's super cute. Hey, <laughs> she cute, cute, cute. <laughs> she's super cute. Uh, you definitely want a band that matches whatever you're wearing, though, because this is like, what is this? Anyways, but this is it. I think these are like the exercise bands, too, or whatever, but yeah, she's cute very cute anyways i'm done with this video thank you guys for watching i hope that really blesses somebody i will go more in depth um on how to grow out your edges if you guys want me to do that i can show you guys uh more ways to grow out your hair but that's basically the foundation of growing out hair that hasn't been growing for a while if you have low density hair as well and you're trying to get it to be a little bit thicker you can use the derma stamp tool as well to get your your uh follicles you could get follicle production. It's called follicle neogenesis. And you'll get definitely new follicles there that will actually start sprouting hair. Just like people use a derma roller for their beards and stuff. If you're a guy and you want to get the scalp treatment, it will work for your beard as well. We actually have guys that use this as beard care. The problem is when people are making products for black men, kings, hello, let me talk to you for a second. Come on here. <laughs> Come on, King. Um, black hair or Afro textured hair needs moisture, right? You don't find moisture in oils. That's not how it works. For some reason, we feel like if I put oils, I get moisture. It's not true. Water contains moisture, but water alone cannot do the trick. So you need to balance um, humectant with water to be able to have moisture. And that's exactly what we've done in this product. And so when you spray your beard, you can use this if you usually get like razor bumps and it'll get rid of your, like your razor bumps after shave. Um, it, it just gets your beard really, really nice looking. It gets it stronger. It stops the itch. You know how like sometimes some guys would just like, oh, it itches so bad. It stops the itch for sure. And it fills those patches. If you want to fill the patches a little bit faster, you can definitely get one of these and it'll fill out the patches very like faster. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Again, check out the website, regimen31.com. And then also head on over to our Instagram page. Follow us on Facebook as well. I'm telling you guys, come back and tell me. Come back. Because you will definitely be back for more products. Everybody who gets a little bottle always comes back for a bigger bottle. So I'm really, really excited to be introducing it to you guys once more on here. And I'm going to do a better job of actually presenting it more here because I'm like, I advertise it everywhere else. I just don't know why I'm not doing it on my YouTube page. So I'm going to do a better job of actually doing so. When you now get home, say for example, you went out, I got to take this off. As you get home and you ain't going nowhere, take her off. Take her off, take her off, take the band off. And then what you want to do is take your spray. 
spray your spray the edges right rub it in really nicely yeah like that take your massaging tool and then massage for a good five minutes okay this will restore blood flow this will get it energized this but it allows for blood flow mostly okay so you do that for a good five minutes just your edges Make sure you take care of your edges, you guys. Make sure you take care of your edges. That is it. That's how you take care of your edges to have them grow in really nice and thick and very healthy. All right, guys. Make sure you subscribe, follow along, hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I post another video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys.